these are actually the questions that Anne asks herself when she's in a landscape. And so we, we have a number of labels that are around the exhibition that kind of pick out what she calls significant details, which are these little details in the image that can bring up questions and lead you in a certain direction. So the questions she asks herself are, you know, what do you see, what's going on, and what story does this landscape tell? So if we're applying it to this um, image, you know, even without looking at, we try to keep the labels a little further away because um, it's really helpful, I think, to try to slow down the process of looking. They've done these studies where they say that your average museum goer spends like two minutes in front of any one picture. And that's really, it's hard to get a lot if you're just sort of like looking and then moving on. So hopefully people will linger with these. But, you know, for example, the first thing I notice in this picture obviously is this really, what's obviously a really old stone wall that seems to run off into the distance almost in forever. And there's lots of lichen on the rocks and it's very jumbled. So it looks like it's very old. Um, it's been there for a long time. Um, it's very weathered. And then the next thing I notice is this line here. So here's another fence. So you've got an old stone wall and a newer fence. And then you know this telephone pole. So this is kind of more contemporary. Um, the next thing I notice is just the difference in the texture of the landscape. So here in front, this is very sort of um, scrubby, um, kind of rough plants. And back here, it's much more cultivated. You can see these sort of rows of seedlings that are planted right here. Um, and then obviously this you know, kind of interesting cloud pattern up here, um, you know, dark, very gloomy um, atmosphere. Um, and that the artist has positioned you so that you're staring up this fairly high incline where this stone wall just sort of goes on forever. And so when I'm looking at this, the questions I'm asking are, um, you know, what's the relationship between these walls? Um, why is the landscape different? Um, you know, what, what does this have to say about this particular place in terms of its, its um, you know, history with people, its human history, its geological history, its physical history? Um, there are parts of the landscape, as Anne explains it, that there's um, surface structure, which is what humans do to the landscape, and then there's deep structure, things that are inherent in the landscape. Um, and once you pay attention to both of them, it can tell you a lot about um, you know, what's, what's going on in this picture. And one of the things that Anne has Anne started to do that was unusual at the time is to consider landscape more broadly. So landscape is not just passive, beautiful scene out there. Um, cities are landscapes as well. Um, and to sort of look at them in the same way because there isn't, you know, as wild as some of the, 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 the places in the images in the exhibition look, there isn't any of them that has not been affected by human habitation. There are these beautiful pictures of Iceland in the exhibition. Um, and you can see the receding glaciers. You can see the tracks of ATVs. Sometimes you can see like a little tiny car in the distance. So that you know, we, we really affect the planet quite completely. But also there are some things that are just in the nature of the landscape itself that are happening all the time. Um, so, and if you look over here at this label that gives you a few uh, details about the image, this is indeed an old stone wall that relates to the history of the place, which is uh, Glenloy, Scotland, um, and relates to the history of um, the, the, the Highland Clearances. So at a time um, when this was all farmland and the people were removed from the farmland because they needed to have more grazing pastures for sheep to feed the woolen mills in England. So this sort of like is a very kind of loaded landscape for a whole culture and cause you know, Scottish to be moved all over the world to the US, to Ireland. Um, moving the Scots to Ireland, of course, sets off the chain of events there. And so that you know, very simple details can lead to extremely complex um, tales of human history. Oh, um, but I just, this is actually the earliest um, image in the exhibition as well. It was shot in 1978. Um, but I think it's just interesting for the, the level of details and then just the rich sense of human history.